Golf Smarter number 685 is brought to you by Autoslash.com, who can help you find the lowest rate possible for your next car rental. Golf Balls for 2019. What's new and what's the best ball for you? With Sam Hogan of TwoGuysWithGolfBalls.com. This is Golf Smarter. Sharing stories, tips, and insights from great golf minds to help you lower your score and raise your golf IQ. Here's your host, Fred Green. Welcome back to the Golf Smarter Podcast, Sam. Hey, Fred. How are you? Doing great. How are you? I'm well. I'm so glad to have you back on the show uh, because this is exciting. Not only that you're going to be a regular participant in both Golf Smarter and Golf Smarter Mulligans, um, but you've rebranded the company, which makes so much sense, that is now two guys with golfballs.com. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for uh thanks for having me back and I'm excited to be a part of of where we're going, but uh yeah, it is. It's two guys with golfballs.com. Uh very very clear uh to something that was kind of unclear before. So, we're very excited about it. I can't imagine what kind of questions that you got about. So, what is two guys with balls? <laughs> Yeah, but we don't want to talk yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just leave that. Uh, yeah, let's leave that aside. Yeah, so <laughs> two guys with golfballs dot com, right? Yep. And yes. so tell me what your business is. So we take golf balls that have been, I guess, used. You want to call them? We clean them. We sanitize them. We sort them um, by you know, Titleist, then and within Titleist, the different types, if it's, if it's a uh, Pro B1, if it's an AVX, along the lines. And uh, then we grade them within the quality level. And we have three different quality levels. We have the Eagle quality, which is basically a brand new ball. It looks, feels, acts exactly like a brand new ball. And uh, we have a birdie level, which is, is uh, you know, maybe have a little mark or nick on it but it still performs great and then we have our par level um where you know it you might have a cart path mark in it it's still a ball that you want to use you know for those professional golfers that would potentially use that ball maybe they'll lose a couple yards but uh, then we sell them and we we sell them to anybody who wants to buy them for basically half price of a brand new ball you know which basically allows a lot of um amateurs like myself to use golf balls that they maybe wouldn't use or when they lose one rather than losing four to five bucks a ball they're going to lose you know a buck and a half which they can stomach Mm. so huge difference huge difference yeah so what um when you say that an eagle quality is like a brand new ball explain like a brand new ball well, have you ever been out, and, and, and not recently, but with somebody who literally pulls a brand new sleeve of Pro V1s out of their bag, just picked them up, they went to wherever, paid 50 bucks for them, and off the first tee, they literally slice it into a pond. No, I've never seen that before in my somewhere. life. Never. <laughs> never. Okay, and, you and, must you know. And must I've never done lot. it. No way. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, me about? either, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. So that ball know it well. You know, we go and we recover. So we work with golf courses. We recover uh, balls that are in ponds. We we have divers on our team that we go into ponds. We work with the courses to you know, go into fescue, into uh, the tall grass into woods, so on and so forth. And that ball is virtually a brand new ball. And you think about it, every player on tour after the first swing of the first tee plays a used golf ball, very similar. Yep. So if they shoot a 70 that day, 69 possibly of those, of those strokes are with a used golf ball. That's very true. That's true. Yeah. Are these also like uh, logo overruns type of thing? Because I have a friend who loves to buy logo balls. Yeah. So then, so logo overruns aren't really a piece of, of where we get balls, but a lot of the balls that we have do have logos on them. Um, just because, you know, everybody loses golf balls and um, a lot of people put logos on golf balls. So 
any any overrun type from direct from manufacturers we don't we don't work with those the the price is a little bit too high for what we want to sell it to our our um, customers but uh, a lot of the balls that we do sell may have logos on them yes and you're sourcing these from all over the country or is it just you have a small team that is local for you it's all over the country we'll we we'll go where uh, where the balls are so <laughs> Um, if, if, if it's, if it's close, it's great. Um, I live in the Midwest, so, you know, weather is a factor. So in the, uh, in the off season for us, you know, we do go across the country and in the South or, or, uh, uh, the West. So, um, but we try to get as much as possible locally during, during the, the prime season. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Um, and all, now let's talk about your website because you've got some pretty interesting things going on there that is more than just uh, a resource of buying used golf balls. Yeah, exactly. What is it? What we else have, is uh, going on there? So there's a couple of key uh, points that I'm that I'll call out, and the first one is our VIP club. It's uh, it's a modest fee of sixty nine dollars for one year, and you get a hundred percent free shipping. Um, no matter what your order size is, normally it's sixty nine sixty nine dollars for uh, to receive free shipping on a regular order. So you could buy, you know, the, the shag bag ball for three ninety nine a dozen, and we'll send them out to you for free shipping. Um, the other piece about that is you get ten percent off every single order that you place. So regardless of if there's another coupon code or another promotion we're doing you get an additional 10% off as a, as a VIP member. And then also we have uh, professional uh, golfers on our staff or PGA professionals, I should say, um, that do swing uh, one free swing analysis per, analysis per year for anyone who's a VIP member. Mm. And then if, if uh, we use uh, some software and, and you can literally upload your swing and then you'll get some free analysis from a, our PGA professionals on staff. Very cool. Very cool. And you have a blog yep. that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So uh, it's one thing that we, when I first, when we first started it, I, I, I wasn't anticipating that this would be a big draw, but from our listeners, I'm sorry, from your listeners and from our customers, uh, excuse me, but from our customers, they've asked a lot of different questions. And so you know, supply and demand, right? So they, there's a demand out there for all things golf. So we're going to supply it. So our customers can come to our site. They can buy uh, uh, some great golf balls at, at low prices, and then they can be up to speed on everything, everything golf. So it's golf, a lot of golf ball information, obviously, but we're also expanding. Uh, we just uh, recently released something about from our PGA merchandising show experience and where we had some met some great people and, and some uh, some great companies, and um, and we're just continue to expand. So where the where our customers want us to to go, we're going to go with in the world of golf. But uh, but we're also going to still sell some great golf balls at low prices. Wow, very cool. And who's writing these blog posts for you? Again, are you sourcing out, or are you doing it yourself? No, we're we're doing it all in house. Um, you know we. Some of our professionals uh, write it. Uh, we do a ton of research on these things. So it's, it's, it's a team effort a lot of the time. So uh, you might see a name out there. Uh, one of the recent ones is uh, Graham Johnson. But uh, we have a research team, including myself, that we go through and we make sure that we're giving um, the most uh, relevant information and the true information that's out there. I see. I see. Very cool. Um, tell me about your PGA show experience. Did you guys uh, have a, a booth at, at PGA show for 2019 down in Orlando? Nope, we didn't. We went as uh, as guests down there and, and wanted wanted to see what it was all about. This is the first time we went, um, and it was it was truly amazing. It was it was unbelievably huge, yeah. and huge is the word I'm going to use. It's it's just it's huge. And it's, it's just, it's golf people in the business, just hanging out together. You know, there's a lot of business that's being done with golf courses and these manufacturers. But other than that, there, there's just so many amazing people in this golf industry. And one reason why I love it, that you're able to interact with and, and the best experience. And we have a, a blog on it, but 
Um, Susie Whaley, who's our new PGA president, I had a chance to um, listen to her talk and then had a great 15, 20 minute side conversation with her direct. And it was, it was truly remarkable. She is everything that uh, you see um, on TV, on, on other podcasts, on you know, YouTube and more. Uh, very, very encouraged by the things that she has done already, but the things that she had to say. There's not too often throughout my, uh, my career where you, you listen to somebody in a leadership position like that and, and you feel like, man, they really get it. But I'm telling you, she, she, I'm her biggest fan. She, she gets it. And the things that she's going to do for the game and has already done for the game is, is truly incredible. And I'm excited to see it. Very cool. Very cool. Congratulations on getting to meet her. Yeah, it was and great. It going was down to the show. It was I've great. never, I've never been down to the show. I've always wanted to go, but never have, have had the opportunity. Um, well, you need to go next year. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's always I feel like the Cubs were for many years. I'll wait till next year. Um, okay, they won. Um, they still one one time. Come on, one, one time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we'll go down together next year. That that could be fun. Um, yeah, I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, there's so much going on with you, and I'm I'm so. I have so many other things that I want to know about, but um, let's talk about, well, the questions part, people, you were saying people always have questions about golf balls. I've always found that to be true. I get a lot of questions about golf balls and I really don't have answers. Unfortunately, I'm not that knowledgeable. I, you know, I pick a ball that seemed to work on the last round. And so I keep playing that one. You know, I can't tell the difference from one to the next. So I do have questions for you. Uh, about different golf balls and stuff. Um, so let's try, let me just ask right now, what is hot in golf balls right now? I've, I've seen Volvic, I've seen Vice, Pro V1, Pro V1X has got new ones. There's the, 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 the AVX from Titleist. Even color balls seem to be all over the place too. Tell me what's going on. Yes. Yeah, so Titleist has released, every two years Titleist releases their new generation of the Pro V1. So, and the Pro V1X. So, um, contrary to popular belief, it, they don't release it every year. It's every two years, which uh, we did an extensive blog on that. And, and, and to me, I respect that because it, it, it should take some time to re-engineer the best ball that's out there, right? And, and if it would come out every single year and have all these, you know, amazing enhancements, to me, it would be a little bit disingenuous. So, Titleist does it right, and that's why they're the most popular ball on tour, they're the most popular ball that we sell. And um, they just released the newest version, which is the, the 2019 version. So the previous one was 2017. So that means last year in 2018, if you bought um, a brand new Pro V1 or Pro V1X, it was exactly the same as what the ball was in 2017. And they do that intentionally, and, and, and they are proud of that. And, and I agree with that. But this year, um, they have do they do have some advances on, on enhancements on their ball, and they came out with a yellow ball, and that is is truly unbelievable, based on the past and where they would they basically never they they they, they kind of said they would never bring a yellow ball to the market, but it goes to the fact of what what is a hot trend right now is colored golf balls. Hmm. Um, ball with, with the emergence of Volvic and, and everything that, uh, that they've brought out with, with all their, their different styles of, of, of colored golf balls. Um, you're, you're seeing many, many more manufacturers go to multicolored balls, not just the yellow that we've had forever. Um, you're seeing red, you're seeing blue, you're, I mean, pink, green, pretty much any color that you want, you can get very hot right now. Mm. And how can I tell the difference between the 2019 and the 2017 ball? So the only thing that you can tell by looking at it is the arrow. So where it says Pro V1 or Pro V1X, the arrow from 2017 is solid black. The 2019 version is gray. That's it. Wasn't the 2015 version gray? The 2015 version was black. I'm sorry. The 2015 was gray. Yes. 
the 2013 was black. So that's their pattern. When they, when they bring out every two years, they go from black to gray, black to gray. Yep. So you wouldn't be able to tell now the difference between the 2019 and the 2015 ball. Yes, you would, because they change the way the arrow looks. Oh. So this is more of a straight, yeah, straight point kind of arrow rather than they had a little separation. Um, I guess it, it, it looks less like an arrow than it did in the, in the uh, 2015 version. It's more of uh, a point, I guess I could, I could say. Yeah. But, um, but yes, absolutely, you can tell the difference. Okay, well, now I that can. we can see them, but I'm kind of nerd. I'm kind of nerd, though, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, you know, when living, it comes to golf balls, listen, living next to a golf course and getting balls into my backyard regularly, I can tell the difference between the 15s and the 17s. But now I've got the 19s to deal with too, and and that's one thing to to be able to say. Oh, this is a 2019 ball. What's the difference in performance? What would the why would I need to get the 2019 over the 2017 ball? So the marketing piece behind what Titles has released is more precision, more consistency, and more speed. So that all sounds great, right? We As golfers, why wouldn't we want that? But what they have changed about the ball, it, it's three things other than the arrow. So that's the first one. The second one is they have a thinner cover. So think of a cub cover. Think you, you have a you have a four piece or a three piece ball. The cover is the first piece. So and this was fascinating to me when I was researching this. It's seventeen percent thinner cover than it was in the previous version. Okay. So now on that seventeen percent thinner cover, they could use that um, percentage to enhance another area of the ball. So when you have a urethane cover that's thinner, now they can add that 17% to the new casing layer. And the casing layer is the second part of the ball just underneath the cover. So then from there, they re-engineered the core. And they didn't go into a lot of details of what they did to the core. But they re-engineered the, the core, which... Um, is supposed to give some increased distance. Okay. You really are a geek on this stuff, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I, I am. And I could even go further, but I don't want to put anyone to sleep. <laughs> oh, no. I think that there are geeks out there who are like, yeah, more, more, more. All right. Give me one more <laughs> tidbit about it. One more. So, well, now I'll give you a, my personal opinion that I think – the the new golf balls might not hold up is and be as durable with that thinner cover than the previous version because the cover is the key um of what looks and, and feels like a, a new golf ball and if they're 17 percent less cover i mean thinner it might be a little less durable so i'm not sure about that that's my opinion common sense tells me that but um I think that we'll see what happens after after one year out there. Interesting. Very interesting. And let's take a quick time out. We'll be right back. This episode is brought to you by Autoslash.com. When you've found and reserved a car you want for your next rental, I'm asking you to head over to Autoslash.com and put that information into their tracker so they know what you reserved and from which company. You'll also want to let them know about all your membership-only codes and any publicly available codes that you found. Their tracker will keep looking for better deals on all companies, over every company that does car rentals, right up until the day you pick up your car. The tracker is 50% of the magic created by Autoslash. Many customers, myself included, rebook multiple times as the rates drop and Autoslash continues to find better deals. And remember, Autoslash.com is a completely free service where the average user saves 30% off the rate that they can find on any other car rental site. So bookmark it on your favorite browser, and the next time you need to rent a car, make sure you put the always free Autoslash.com to work for you. Autoslash. 
A-U-T-O-S-L-A-S-H. It's kind of strange that they actually spell it the way it sounds. These days doesn't happen much like that. Autoslash.com. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. Okay, Sam, what about the Callaway Chrome Soft? Now, I have a friend who prefers the Callaway Chrome Soft that looks like a soccer ball. <laughs> and the other day we were playing, and he, he hit one into a bunker that was a fried egg type of thing situation on the side of the bunker. And one of, the, one of my playing partners went, oh, it looks like a pimple. So, <laughs> but what's the Pretty deal much. with the Chrome Soft balls? What makes them special? You know what the, the Chrome Soft is is a, is a really great ball. It's um, it's any time that you get a, a four piece urethane ball, um, a urethane cover. Urethane cover is the most expensive cover that's out there, and you, you see it on the higher end balls. Uh, and then you have the extra pieces, which gives you just incre- increased distance, increased stoppability. If you want the four the fourth piece, which is a piece of the core, it gives you more spin. The three-piece ball has a little less spin, but Chrome Soft, um, along with other four-piece balls that are out there, it, it's it's a great ball. And and what they that they did in the you know the quote unquote soccer ball or the Truvis ball, they took their regular model of Chrome Soft and just made it look like a soccer ball. Um, in the beginning, um, one one person from Callaway uh, said that it's because the soccer golf thing. Um, was kind of getting popular a few years ago, but now it's turned into, they're kind of, it got, it's gotten very popular and then the colored ball, uh, trend happened. And so they went with it and they have pink and they got green and, Mm -hmm. um, they got red and yellow and, and, and so on and so forth. And actually in 2020, the, uh, the Ryder cup is going to be in whistling straights and they have a, a red, uh, a red and white and blue, uh, version of the soccer ball already out for the Ryder Cup. So, okay, that's going to be interesting. But they all perform the same. They yeah. all perform exactly the same. <laughs> so, all the Callaway Chrome Soft funny looking balls all all perform exactly the same. But how do you compare them to say a Pro V One or a Pro V One X? Um, they are very very similar balls. Okay, they perform almost identical. It's it's personal preference at that point. Right. Um, it, if if you say that you're going to get more of this or that out of your Pro V compared to, to Callaway Chrome Soft, compared to um, you know a Bridgestone, it used to be B three thirty. Um, now it's the XR. It, it they're all going to be the same. It's it's personal preference. And, you know, our, our tour players, um, you know, they pick the ball based on their preference and then probably someone that they might sign a deal with. Yeah. So. Right. And then uh, just recently, uh, well, well, no, before I get to that, I want to ask about the AVX ball from Titleist. So the AVX ball. So now this is very interesting. I'm glad you asked that question because the AVX ball came out and this is the only other urethane cover ball that Titleist has released. And in in the past, they have never had a urethane covered ball other than the Pro V1 because that was, you know, that was the most popular ball. And, and why would they, why would they mess around with that? But they released this AVX ball, which um, has the urethane cover. So you, you, it performs better and you get more speed, but they, they changed it a little bit. So you get much less spin. So as an amateur golfer, the spin is, is why we see the chili peppers into the to right or left, or you slice it off the tee and it literally almost hits his person that's directly next to you to the right or left. The spin, that's, that's, that's what happens. So they, they, re, they release this ball that has a urethane cover, so you're going to get a lot of that speed and distance, but it has much lower spin than the Pro V1 or the Pro V1X. So that's a good thing for amateurs. Correct. Yes, Ooh. the spin is what the spin is what kills an amateur golfer. Oh, that is a great tip. That is a great tip. Thank you. Oh man, I love that you're geeking out on this. It really helps. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, interesting. A couple of years ago, Costco put out a Kirkland ball, 
They got sued by a Kushnet who owns Titleist for stealing ideas. But just recently, Costco has re-released a new Kirkland ball. What's the deal with that? Yeah, they did, and I'm I'm happy they did because uh, they make they make good products, and they they do. Oh yeah, they, they have put them the Kirkland at, at name prices, on it, right? Yeah, if they put yep. the Kirkland name on it, it you 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 can trust it's a a decent product. It's not just like buying the cheapest thing possible and and then marking it up, uh, increasing their margins. They do quality quality stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And the rumor has it on a sidebar that their Kirkland vodka is, is really Grey Goose. Who knows if it's true or not? That's just what people That's say. That's what I've heard too, yeah. Right. But, um, but yeah, so they, they had a four-piece ball that was called the Tour Performance. And, and, and uh, what you said was true earlier, uh, why they had to get out of that making that ball. So they released a three-piece ball. So they released a three-piece ball, which is called their Kirkland Signature. Um, and it, it's it's a nice performing ball. I, I would compare it to more of the... Uh, the current tour soft titleist ball and the old nxt uh, tour ball which is basically the same thing as what tour soft is um it, it performs great it, it's it's a good ball it 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 has a year thing cover um and uh and they sell it i believe it's like 24 bucks for two dozen um what's really interesting about the casco kirkland ball is they only allow you to buy 12 boxes per membership that's it mag per order or like forever per membership per, per, so per membership per membership yeah so right now they're limiting that they, they haven't said if it's for one year or forever right now it's it's just it's 12 and, and i think they learned a lot during the previous golf ball run and they were out of stock instantly with these companies buying you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dozen and they, again, Costco is a great company. They want to give their members these uh, these great products. And rather than not being available to their members, um, they're limited to that, which I think is a great move. That's really interesting. Huh. And, and tell me again, which ones you would compare these balls, the new ones, to, to what other brand and what other uh, line? Yeah, I compare the, uh, the new signature, the Kirkland Signature, um, to the Titleist Tour Soft Golf Ball, formerly the NX Tour Ball, or I would compare it to a Callaway Super Soft Golf Ball, um, a Bridgestone RX Golf Ball. That's kind of probably the best comparisons, but okay. Tour Soft is the closest, I would think, the Titleist Tour Soft. Okay. Great. Very cool. Um, I'm going down my list here of, of other questions that I had about this because it's so many, you know, I don't have all these, uh, that's it. I don't have all these questions um, about balls that everybody wants answers to. So let's do this. If you're listening right now and you have more questions for Sam about golf balls, Let's get questions to me or to him, and then we'll collect these questions, and then we'll answer them again. Sam, what do you? Th I'm telling you, you're doing this. That we're going to answer <laughs> these questions. We'll have you come back every so often to answer questions on the show that pe that people are asking. I love it. That's a great idea. I because I could sit here and tell you everything that I think, but when somebody asked me a question, I love answering it because that means they're interested in that specific question. So we just never know. And like what I said earlier about where our blog is kind of gone, it's gone based on our customer feedback. And so if I have your listeners, my customers collectively asking questions about golf balls that we can answer and then in this format, oh, I would love that. I would welcome that. So anytime. Great. That'd be great. Great idea. So let's see. The, the, there's different ways that people can submit their questions. Let's start with me, and then we'll go to you. Um, if you want to submit it via Twitter, use hashtag Golf Smarter in that, and we'll find the question. Um, or send it to at Golf Smarter. Uh, even Instagram, if you have a question, you want to video your question, right? Or you have a picture of a ball that you want to send, you can use Instagram. Again, hashtag Golf Smarter or at Golf Smarter. I also have our Facebook page, Golf Smarter. You could submit it there. You can click on the Hey Fred button and just write me a question or 
send me a video of your question if you you know want to include that. Um, we can put that on our newsletter. And then we also still have our Golf Smarter Academy line. And you can call and leave your question. And we'll include your question on the show as you ask it. Uh, call 415. It's a toll-free number. 415-761-1498. 415 761 1498. And now, uh, and then we'll collect, like I said, we'll collect these questions and then you could submit them. Um, we'll, coll- <laughs> you'll, we'll collect the questions and then when we have a number of them, we'll bring Sam back and, and ask him these questions to get these answers. And then I won't have to stumble over my own questions <laughs> <laughs> like I'm doing right, right now. Uh, and what's the best way to get? the questions to you from your sites. Your Same thing. Media. So, so, uh, Twitter, it's, it's at two guys with golf balls. Um, Instagram hashtag or at two guys with golf balls and same thing with Facebook, uh, two guys with golf balls, um, from our website, any of our contact pages, um, any of our, you know, support at two guys with golf com. Sam at two guys with golf balls.com. Any of those venues feel free. They all, they all get pulled to the same uh, sport team, which I see many of those, but this would absolutely be where you can do it. Whatever's easiest for, you know, the listeners and our customers, Fred, I'm all for. So however we could do it, I would love that. And then, um, uh, very soon, probably within a couple of days, there will be a, uh, a golf smarter page of, uh, on our site. So, you'll be able to submit them there as well. Perfect. I love it. And I have not, I'm springing this on Sam right now. We've not discussed it, but we will discuss it after the show. We're going to try to figure out some sort of incentive for you to send in these questions. And if we use your question on the show, you'll receive fill in the blank here. And we'll all announce that on a future show after Sam and I talk about this. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I'd love to do something like that. No problem. No problem. Okay, very good. Very good. <laughs> um, but there's also one other thing for the Golf Smarter community, which we like to call Golf Martyrs, um, uh, that if you make a purchase at twoguyswithgolfballs.com, and I've already discussed this with Sam, you will receive 10% off every order every time now there's so often you'll see for your first order you'll receive no not that if you use at your coupon code or checkout code golf smarter no matter what you're purchasing you're going to get an additional 10 percent off every order every time but this offer expires on april 1st 2020 so there's kind of a deadline here but it's not that urgent But still, you should know, and if you're listening to this after April 1st, 2020, but you're going to get 10% off every order, every time, before April 1st, 2020, at twoguyswithgolfballs.com. Comments? Sam, any thoughts on that? Did we discuss that? I don't don't (laughs) remember. No, no, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, that's... That's one thing that I, that I, I agree with you. It's not, Hey, one time this one time that it, you know, it's, it's, we want to give an incentive to our customers, to your listeners, to people that are, are passionate about the things we're passionate about. And if there's a way that we can do that, um, I, I'm all for it. And, 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 and uh, is, I love it. So I'm happy to do that. We're Thank happy you. to do that. Appreciate yep. it very much. Now, what about the shipping part? Uh, tell me what your shipping situation is. You mentioned membership on your VIP membership that there's free shipping uh, with yep. all your orders. But uh, what? how does shipping work inside the un- continental United States, inside the whole United States, and then also internationally? Yep. So so we offer flat rate shipping uh, anywhere in the United States of seven ninety nine for every order that would be under $69. Because shipping is a real cost, believe it or not. Um we do get charged shipping, and so we have to pass that along. But once that over order size gets larger, we're able to absorb that shipping. And so anything over $69, uh, you do get free shipping. Anything underneath $69, you, you would get charged the $7.99 flat. Um, so you'd, you'd have to divide that out the amount of balls, and you're still 
spending much less than you would if you bought brand new golf balls. Um, and then anything outside, we do ship internationally, and that's just based on kind of uh, where you're ordering from, where you live. But we we work with uh, local um, shipping uh, companies as well as the United States to, to get it to wherever you're, you want quickly and at the the least expensive as possible but it's just it's kind of impossible right now to offer some flat rate shipping anywhere in the world yet one day maybe just not yet okay all right very good hey sam congratulations on the rebranding thank you so much for all this valuable information and again we encourage everybody to submit your own questions so that sam can come back on a regular basis and answer these questions um and that uh, that will just make episodes that are going to be great because you may be asking the questions that I can't come up with and that 18 other people had in their mind. So please submit your questions. Again, just click on the Hey Fred button at golfsmarter.com. Use hashtag golfsmarter or at golfsmarter on social media or call our line at 415-761-1498 or hashtag two guys with golf balls at two guys with golf balls, social media, and uh, we'll get those questions answered in future episodes. Sam, congratulations, and thank you so much for coming back on and for supporting both Golf Smarter and Golf Smarter Mulligans. Thank you so much, Fred. I can't wait to, uh, to come back and, and answer those questions. Well, I'm sorry if my tease was premature, but as of this recording... The first episode of Golf Smarter Mulligans is still not available on Apple Podcasts or anywhere else. <clears throat> I'm so frustrated. I gave it like five-day head start thinking it wasn't going to be that difficult, and so far it is. Now, the, the first episode is still Dr. Joe Parent on, from the episode number one. The second episode, entitled The PGA Instructor of PGA Professional Instructors, Featuring my conversation with Joe Hallett will be published later today, Tuesday, April 16. Um, but my goal is still to get these new episodes published each Friday. Now, after reviewing the first 100 episodes of Golf Smarter, I identified and isolated 32 interviews, a third of them that are instructional in nature. So for Mulligans, I'm focused on mental game, course management, putting, short game, fitness, and overall game improvement. I don't have any intentions to replay episodes that are clearly dated, uh, have wild stories, famous people, like I'm passing over the Malcolm McDowell interview, or are focused on training aids, unless you want me to. If I get some emails saying, no, no, play more, then <laughs> I'll look into those too. I just don't want anything that's going to sound too old and be out of date. Now, although these first 100 episodes were from 2005, the end of 2005, all of 2006, and a lot of 2007, there may be some exceptions. Like episode number four, which focuses on course management with PGA master professional Tom Tatnell, we talk about this new product that was just being approved for use by the USGA. And it was called, you ready? You're sitting down for this one? A GPS. <laughs> I know there's practically one of them in everyone's bag, if not their pocket, but he actually has some great advice on ways to get the most out of a GPS technology. And that's why I thought I would include it this time. Also, it's only a coincidence that the first three episodes are with guys named Joe, <laughs> but that's what's happening. So again, hopefully by the time you hear this, the podcast will be available for you to subscribe for free. But if you cannot wait, and I truly appreciate that. Each new episode is also available on our YouTube channel, Golf Smarter TV. So that's a way to hear it right now. Golf Smarter Mulligans is brought to you in part by Autoslash.com and TwoGuysWithGolfBalls.com. Remember, all Golf Smarter listeners get 10% off every order every time at TwoGuysWithGolfBalls.com with a coupon code GOLFSMARTER. And that discount expires on April 1st, 2020. And Sam and I are serious, by the way, about getting your questions about balls. And we're trying to make it as easy as possible to submit your questions. So use hashtag golf smarter or hashtag two guys with golf balls on Twitter, Instagram, or either of our pages on Facebook. Or 
email your question to golfsmarterpodcast at gmail.com. And of course, you can always click on the Hey Fred button at golfsmarter.com. And finally, we're uh, bringing back our Golf Smarter giveaways. Our first prize that will be awarded on the Golf Smarter episode of April 30th, 2019, is a brand new customized Seymour putter. In the future, we'll also be giving away access to Tony Manzoni's online video, The Lost Fundamental, and a dozen eagle quality used golf balls of your choice from two guys with golfballs.com and more $100 Amazon gift cards courtesy of autoslash.com. To register, go to golfsmarter.com and click on the enter now button and good luck. And now it's time for our quote of the week from Dr. Joseph Parent. And this is from the chapter entitled Transitions in the book Zen Golf Mastering the Mental Game. When we use the word transition with regard to the golf swing, most people think of the transition from backswing to downswing. However, for the mental game, the key transition is in regard to the passage into the time of between shots. Making this transition properly means letting go of the past, but not jumping ahead to the future. As the saying, oh gosh, this past week, I totally blew that. Oh man. I was two under after seven holes, and I started thinking about my score on the ninth hole. Two more holes later, I'm one over. As the saying goes, the past is history, the future is a mystery, being alive in this moment is a gift. That's why they call it the present.